Welcome back to A Game for Your Thoughts. So we are ready to rock and roll. So let's rock and roll. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> I was like, let's try out this new upgrade I got. This is my new upgrade I got. <laughs> How about that shit, huh? That's what we're dealing with. <laughs> that's pretty epic. Um, all right. Who's next? Who wants to deal with this? Ah, uh, if I would have known that was there, um, that would have been nice. But hey, you know what? We're just gonna stab this guy in the eye. That was fulfilling. If I would have known that mega upgrade was there, I would have gone straight there, and this would have been a completely different previous two episodes. <laughs> Things would have been different. Things would have changed, but here we are. Things are looking up for me. So let's keep it that way. Oh, hi there, Mr. Baron of Hell. How are you doing this fine afternoon? I'm doing very swell, mind you. Um, he's looking very dead, though, so that's good. Um, it's, there was a Hellraiser somewhere. I hear him. Oh, hello. Ah! Die! This has been a very interesting room, and I did it! I passed the room! Thanks, Mega Upgrade, for being super convenient. Okay. Now we're getting really close to getting my uh, Super Shotgun Double Shot. So that's something to look forward to. Okay, where are we on our map? So we need to get up there. Okay, few things we can do. Um... Let's actually, let's hop down here, and then, oh wait, okay, so I need to get up there to get to that guy, but, but how, I say, but how, oh, like this, <laughs> um, Oh, okay, there it is. I was like, um, I don't see it moving. Because it hasn't. Right there. Yeah, yeah. Secret found, baby. I'll take that. Okay, so I'm trying to decide which one I want. Because I think I might want this one, but also I've been using this one a lot. And using the sage mode is really, really awesome. And so it's a precision bolt. But I think... I've been using the Gauss Cannon more, so I'm going to get the Siege Mode for the Gauss Cannon. Let's do that. That seems like a better upgrade. Yeah, like look at that shenanigans. Okay, so let's throw in some upgrade points into this bad boy. Bump -rum. Oh, I need six. You need six. Let's see, get five kills in five seconds with the Gatling Rotor. Okay, I haven't even bothered to try that one. Okay, so we're up here now. So, I don't think there's anything else I can do in this area at the moment. There's a bobblehead up there. Okay, yeah, so a few things I gotta knock out first. So, I think let's just keep progressing in the level. Maybe go and get that, uh, whatever it's called, um, rune trial. I think I can access that now. I think I just gotta head left in this hallway. Because then there's going to be... That guy! Hello! <laughs> cool. Is that everyone? Is everyone dead? Okay, yep, yep, yep. Here we go. Let's go get this rune trial. This has already been a much better episode in every way, shape, and form. All right. Let's see. Use the combat shotgun to eliminate all targets before timer expires. Health levels are critical. Use armor to survive. Awesome. Let's let's uh let's do that. <laughs> that sounds cool. I think, or not. I don't know. I mean, it's totally entirely up to you. Whatever you think's cool. Um, I always like the idea of not necessarily arguing, but like debating about things that you like differently not that i like going and like starting shit on the internet i hate that like that's so annoying like it drives me insane when people are like ah, i just like seeing oh okay 
great start. <laughs> um, it kills me when I see people on like Twitter and stuff, and like they're just like arguing with somebody, and they're like, "Why are you arguing? Like, give me your point." And they're like, "I don't, I don't, I have a point." I just like ticking people off, and it's like, why? Like, what benefit does that bring you? Like, that's just so dumb, and I just don't get it. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, that came out of nowhere. I guess, and it's just like, what is your why, what gives you the satisfaction of just ticking people off? Like, I'm cool totally having, like, a super rad conversation of, like, hey, man, like, I like Doom. And then somebody's like, I don't like Doom. And I'm like, well, why not? And they're like, it's too violent. I'm like, okay, I understand. And I'm like, that's fair. And I'm like, have you, like, given it a shot, though? And they're like, yeah, it just wasn't for me. The violence was too much. And it's like, okay, that's just fine. I appreciate that. At least you're honest. But then there's other people like, I hate Doom, and it's like, well, why? And they're like, cuz, Doom. And then it's like, no, oh, that's a really lame argument. Like, at least I have a valid point. But I mean, I can't say that I haven't done that. Oh, man, that was a, like a direct hit with that fireball. But like, I can't say that I haven't ever done that. Like, for example, I'm not a big fan of LeBron James, but like, I don't really have a reason to like LeBron James. It's just, I just, not a fan. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, I think. <laughs> I feel like sports is a little different, but like, um, it's just a really interesting concept of like not liking things, but not like not really having a reason. It's like I don't like chick flicks because they're boring and really unwell made. And then it's like, well, yeah. <laughs> um, and then my wife's like, I don't want to play Mortal Kombat. I'm like, why not? And she's like, just cause. And I'm like, but, but why not? <laughs> it's like just cause. I'm like, that's lame. That's a terrible excuse. Not saying you can't have excuses. I just don't really know where I'm going with this anymore. So we're gonna call it there. But yeah. Ow. Oh, don't give me this guy. No. Why did there have to be a? Why did there have to be a guy right there? Ugh, why the pinkies are just killing me in this one? Like, I feel like I've never really had a problem with them. I always feel like I liked fighting them, but like this time around, it's been so brutal. It's been just straight brutality of the pinkies. Alrighty. Ah! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Man, some of these demons are really good at coming out of nowhere. 3 out of 18, is that what it said? Or was it 3 out of 8? I think it was 3 out of 8, but I really hope it's not 3 out of 18, or else we're going to be here a while. Okay, 8. There's 8 of them. I can kill 8 demons. I've done it before. Apparently not, though. <laughs> Okay, doing good, doing good. Just teen them up, teen them up. Yeah, three out of eight is what it says. So, let's get three out of eight. Let's kill three out of eight demons. Okay, let's get a glory kill on this guy. Kind of tee things up a little bit. Okay. Ah! Hello! Okay, that was good. That's good. We got him. And we slid, we slit his throat with his own tooth. That's awesome. Okay, I hear him. But where is he? Oh, there he is. Yeah! There we go. We got him. We got him. He's dead. Oh, yeah. We got him. Now we can move on with the level. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Um, that made me feel better. That was good. Um... I am pretty positive I'm going to equip this one, though, because it makes it so I have armor and health from glory kills, and I think that would be really, really helpful. But I'm trying to decide which one I want to get rid of, because I like all of my ruins, and so it's like, oh, man. <laughs> Saying ruins reminds me of the Family Guy joke when uh, Stewie and Brian are on Halloween, and they both dress up as Stewie, and... Um, Stewie's all mad about it. He's like, Brian, this is exactly why I asked you for a minute of your time the other day. And he's like, now this evening is ruined. Brian's like, what? And he's like, yeah, this evening is ruined. And Brian's like, why are you saying it that way? And he's just like, saying what What way? And he's like, ruined. He's like, what do you call ancient ruins? Ruins. What's this evening? Ruined. <laughs> it's so good. It's just like one of those Stewie being ridiculous things. And it's awesome. Okay, I got my chainsaw on the ready, but I feel like at some point around this corner on these mountain sides, there's going to be just a bunch of lone, like, not so awesome demons that are needed going to get shot in the face, and so I want to have my 
super shotgun ready so that I can work my way towards that super shotgun upgrade of awesomeness. Um, oh, right here. I was like, um, where does one go from here? Let's see, my Argent Energy is on that end of the tower. So let's go this way and then. Yeah, yeah. Argent Energy found! Aw, yeah! I think I have all of the arm ammo ones, maybe. I don't know. I have the power! He mad! Yeah, I have all the ammo ones. So let's do health. Um, the first time I played this game, I for some reason didn't know you could, like, switch which one does which. Or, like, I didn't know you could pick. I thought you just had to, like, work your way across. And so, like, I didn't get the ammo ones until, like, the end of the game. And I'm, like, now looking back, I'm, like, how did I do that? How did I beat this game? And I will catch you guys next time on A Game for Your Thoughts. Thanks for watching.